What's up, everyone? My name is Sadiq, and I'm a seven-figure Amazon seller. I've been selling on Amazon for around two years now. In this video, I'm going to take you through the quickest and the easiest method for you guys to find your first couple of profitable products for Amazon FBA. So let's get right into it. I'm going to pop open my screen share. First, we're going to talk uh, through what software we're going to need, and then we're going to go into the method shortly after. So the first and the only software you're going to need for this method is SellerAmp. SellerAmp is just a profit analytics tool. It's going to answer basic questions for you, like can you sell it? Does it sell? Is it profitable? And it'll give you a bunch of helpful information you're going to need before making a good buying decision for your store. In addition to that, SellerAmp also uh, gives you access to a feature called storefront stalking, which is basically where you just pop open other seller storefronts. You're able to see what brands and what categories they're mainly selling in. And then from there, you're going to try to reverse engineer where they're getting their products from, from what retailers, what discount codes are they using? Are they using any discounted gift cards to get to the price point to be profitable? You're going to try to reverse engineer all of that. And that's called reverse sourcing or storefront stalking. And that's what we're going to do in this video. And that's the complete method. So like I said, you're only going to need seller app for this. And if you're a beginner and you don't have seller app already, it's only 20 bucks a month, super, super, super cheap. And there's a 14 day free trial in the description. If you don't have it already and you want to try it out, uh, definitely get on that. But yeah, that's the only software we're going to need. And now let's get into the method. So the method starts with, you go to amazon.com, you go to the search tab. And from here, you want to just search a brand that you know is super, super, super popular already. So like Nike is going to be good, Adidas is going to be good, Converse, Puma, Neutrogena, Under Armour, Reebok, all of that stuff is going to be good. You can either look up a massive brand like that and start there, or you can um, you can look and search for a lead that you found profitably, profitably before. So that's actually what we're going to do. We're going to type in Bella Skin. Bella Skin is an example of a booty product I found in uh, one of the previous videos. So we're just going to pop it open. And then once you get to the product you want to look at, you're either, you're going to either look to the left or the right, wherever you have seller app set up to. You're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Then you're going to see the offers section. From the offer section, you're going to be able to see every single seller who's selling on this listing. And then from there, you're going to want to hover over the fulfillment method, whether, whether it's FBA or FBM, and you're going to be able to see the review. So this guy has 267. And then when you're looking at the reviews, you want to stay above 50 reviews. The reason you want to stay or above 30 reviews is actually fine. The reason you want to stay above 30 reviews is just because you want a seller has some skin in the game, has some experience, and probably has been selling for a little while. If they have 30 reviews, that way they have good store uh, products in their storefront for you to look at. And then you want to st stay below 500 reviews as well because anything over, they're typically uh, wholesale or they're just a very advanced OA seller that's been selling for a, a very long time. So um, you want to stick below... 500 and above 30, like I said. So this first guy on this listing who has buy box right now, he has 267. So we'll pop him open and then we'll look for another guy in between 30 and 500. So this is another guy. And you only really need to look at like one or two at a time. That's going to be totally fine. And then from here, you're going to be able to see everything this guy is selling. So brand name, uh, how many uh, ASINs he has for that brand. So Chanel, he has 211. Nike has 154. You're going to be able to see their top categories are selling as well. So beauty and personal care is his uh, primary category. And that's perfect for us because I know uh, a lot of you guys requested beauty and personal care uh, sourcing. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to click from here. We're going to click on beauty and personal care on SellerAmp. And SellerAmp is uh, nice enough to give us line by line a bunch of info. So we can quickly comb through all of these, um, all these products to try to see if we can find a profit profitably. But before we do that, uh, we want to look at a couple quick infos that SellerAmp actually gives us. So BSR, this one's 117K. Like I said in the previous videos, I try to stay below 100K. But if it's a little bit above 100K, I'll, I'll still check it out. It's totally fine. The 117K uh, BSR and then max cost is what the max price you need to pay in order to get your ROI goal. So my ROI goal is 30% um, across all boards in my SellerAmp backend. And if you deal with a lot of low return, return rate categories like um, – grocery or beauty, you can lower it to 25% if you want. If you deal with a lot of high return rate categories like uh, appliances or sneakers and apparel, you can hire it to 40 if you want as well. But I just have mine set to 30% and I adjust depending on what I'm looking at. And then also to the right, which is super, super, super important that I don't see a lot of people talking about is to the right is the price history chart. We want to make sure this price history chart is as stable as can be. And the reason for that is if you buy a product today, um, from a retailer, from the time it takes the retailer to, to ship that to you, the transit time it takes to get to you or your prep center, the there's time that's going to take the prep center for you to send out to F Amazon. Amazon's 
going to take time to receive it. Amazon's going to FC process it to a different fulfillment center. So it's a lot of like waiting around. So from the day you buy it to the day it's available to sell in your storefronts, typically around three or four weeks. So we want as stable as a uh, price chart as possible because if we want to, if we're buying it profitably today, we want it to be profitable in three or four weeks from now. And, that, and the only way we can try to accurately predict that is the uh, price history chart. So like we can see it to the right here, this is a pretty, pretty, pretty stable chart. So this is going to be a good product to look at. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So um, we're going to hit, we're going to actually open up, we're going to hit the Amazon button. We're going to open up that Amazon listing. Then we're also going to hit Google to try to find that product. So this is called Fenty by Rihanna Stunna Lip uh, Paint Longwear Fluid Lip. That is a very long name, but this, we're just going to click on the first one, see if that's it. Uh, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Stunna Lip Paint Long Fluid Lip Color. Yep, that's it. And then the color we're looking at for, which is super important if you're doing beauty, you want to make sure it matches up like properly, is Uncensored uh, Perfect Universal Red. Go back to this Kohl's link. Uh, uncensored Perfect Universal Red. Perfect. So this is this is the exact thing. And it's $14.50. If we type that into SellerAmp, it's going to be profitable. It's going to be around $5 profit per unit. 17% margin and then 33% ROI. And like I said, beauty is a pretty low return rate category. So if you want to take 25, 30% ROI, that's typically where I like to hang out for beauty minimums. So this is going to be a winner right off the bat. It's the first product we looked at, which is kind of insane. The only other thing you want to be wary about if you are doing beauty is you want to make sure the, um, the sizing matches up too. Cause a lot of the times there's travel sizes and then there's also like the normal sizes. So you want to make sure this is the exact same. So, Normally about this item or in the name over here in Celeron, it'll tell you how much fluid ounces it is, but it doesn't exactly here. But we'll go to Kohl's. We'll try to find out Kohl's. I don't see it anything at the top. We scroll down. Uh, product details more. It tells us it's 0.13 fluid ounces. So we're going to see if we can find 0.13 anywhere here. Uh, don't see anything. Try to see the packaging. Yeah, so here we go. On the second on the second picture, the packaging says 0.13 fluid ounces as well. So we know this is a perfect match. 50 ball in the last month, it's definitely moving. $5 profit per, like I said, and then 33% ROI. So this is definitely a winner. If we look a little bit further at the uh, Keepa, because we always want to look at the Keepa before we uh, buy anything, we can see a ton of movement in this offer count, and we can see it's anywhere between 50 to 100 monthly sold. So this is a 1,000% a winner. And if we look a little closer too, like the current buy box, uh, 2850s this guy but we can also see that if we go there we go uh buy box sellers are also getting sales fba at 3093 so if we type in 3093 we're actually closer to 50 percent roi and seven dollars profit per unit so this is one thousand percent a winner it it moves quickly price is very stable we found it over 30 percent roi it's closer to 50 percent seven dollars profit per unit this is a perfect 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 find and we just found it off this guy's storefront alone but what you what you would probably notice, and this you're going to notice this a lot if you're dealing with shoes or if you're dealing with beauty and personal care items, you see how um, Kohl's, there is a bunch of other colors as, as well. So we have Unveil, we have Underdog, we have Uncensored, like the one we just looked at, Unbutton and Uncuff. They're all on sale right now for uh, $14.50. So um, if you find something profitable in one colorway or in one size, you want to go look at the other sizes and the other colorways as well and go down that rabbit hole because if you found something profitable, uh, profitable in one color, it's probably hype and demand. Like Fenty is a very uh, popular beauty brand. So you want to go search Amazon for those other colors as well to see if you can find it profitably. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll type in unveil because that's the first thing from here. Unveil, unveil. Unveil doesn't come up, but underdog does, and that's the one – that's the second one right here. And this is $14.50 as well. Yep. This is max cost $15 we would need to pay. We're only at $14.50. So we're we found another banger of $5 profit per unit, 38% ROI. Uh rank is a little higher, but there is some good movement in the uh in the offer count. So we definitely know this guy's selling as well. And this is similar to the last listing where the price is in, anywhere in between 29 and 32. So, so if we just price it at 32, we're going we're gonna to be able to get sales as well, especially for FBA. So that's 25% margin, which is super, 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 super high for uh, for beauty just because it's a low return rate category. And then it's 55% ROI. So always, 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 if you find something profitable in one size or in one variation or one color, 
way if you're dealing with sneakers apparel or beauty definitely look up the other colorways as well because there's profit there's probably profit hiding right next to it so we just found two windows right off the bat off of one guy's storefront those are buyable i would buy them personally if i wasn't recording this video they're very good right and then you would just keep going and another thing i i wanted to mention but i didn't um yet is you want to make sure they're Storefront price and their buy box price is very similar as well. Because if, if they're not, let's say this guy was priced $15 higher, the product probably tanked on them and he's holding it out until he gets a profitable price. Um, so you want to stay away from those because they're no longer winners. The price tanked and whatever price he paid is not no longer a good price. So you want to make sure that the storefront price and the buy box price matches up uh, pretty well like these did. This is only a couple dollars off. And then from here, you would just keep going through all of his beauty and personal care items. Try to, again, match the storefront price and the buy box price uh, for it to be um, pretty similar. So I'm not seeing a ton of good rates here. We'll try to pop open this guy, 26 bucks, 26 bucks, uh, 29 or $26. Yeah, if the buy box is 26 and your buy cost is 26, that's not a good sign. It's going to be tough to find it profitably. I'm not seeing a ton here, but that's exactly what you want to do. Like if you're not finding it quickly, or if you see the price is way, way, way more than what you're supposed to be paying, just skip right through it. Like this guy has 1,500 ASINs. You're going you're gonna to have to get through a lot. The only way you're going to get through a lot is um, by quickly disqualifying the, the losers in the store. So this guy's actually lower than this price. So let's see if we can find this one as well. Pop open that. Jones Road. Jones Road. This is called Jones Road What the Foundation Beige. What the foundation, and then let's try to find beige if we can. Beige right here, $44 is the buy cost. Boom. And then current buy box is $70.56. And then you're paying $44. So you're, we're right at 25% ROI. Like I said, the minimum ROI you want um, for beauty, like low return rate categories like beauty or grocery, 25, 30% is typically where I like to hang out for the minimums. This is close to $11 profit per unit, 18K BSR, which is kind of ridiculous. That's very low. It's going to sell very, very quickly for you. And um, this is also factoring all of my like prep fees, all my shipment splits and everything, miscellaneous fees. All my seller amps already configured to that. So we will be getting 25% ROI here. And then this is also 300 ball in the past month, which is pretty, pretty insane. So this is another winner. So we found three winners in the span of a couple minutes just by storefront stalking someone else's store. And then you can you can repeat this process as well. If you want to come down to sellers and then you want to pop open some more storefronts, like this guy, Proverbs, or if you guys want if you want to pop open another one, Midwest Fam, you can literally just go through all of these storefronts and you will continually keep going through, keep going through, keep throwing through. Because as a beginner, you're not going to know what brands sell well. You're not going to know what styles in, in the brand sell well. You're not going to know what the best retailers for those brands are. But the more you do storefront stalking, the more you do it, and more you do it, and the more you do it over time, and the more repetitive you get, the more information you're going to know um, in the back of your head when you go into sourcing beauty, or if you go into sourcing apparel or uh, shoes, uh, or shoes. Sorry. Um, as you become a professional and more advanced in each of those categories, or you only really need one or two to be, become really, really, really good. Um, it's going to it's gonna make sourcing a lot easier for you. And eventually, you're going to move on to the manual sourcing, which is basically, okay, I know Adidas has a sale today. I'm going to go source everything Adidas has. I know what coupons they run. I know that site like the back of my hand. But you can't get to that point until you do a bunch of reverse sourcing, especially if you're a beginner. This is all I did for the first 12 months. Reverse sourcing, or probably like 8 to 12 months. Reverse sourcing, reverse sourcing, reverse sourcing, reverse sourcing as much as possible. Get yourself familiar with these brands and get yourself some quick winners like we found in this video. So... That's all I have to show you. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. That's all I have to show you for this video. Hopefully you liked it. Let me know in the comments if you liked it or not. And then also in the first link in the description, I'm going to have a link to my uh, public Discord. There's around 900 people in there. It's great for networking. It's great for help information. And then tomorrow we're running a free call with Amazon Lit. Amazon Lit does like 70 million a year. Massive, massive, massive wholesale seller. We bring on a ton of um, weekly guests every single week. I do a bunch of uh, live sourcing. I do a bunch of guest calls and uh, normal calls in there as well every single week. A bunch of uh, beginner resources for you guys as well. So definitely hop in there if you're not in there already. And then let me know uh, what videos you want to see next.